Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists physicians with employment contract issues. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about backing out of a physician contract. So let's kind of uh, talk about the differences between uh, signing a contract and not starting versus uh, terminating a contract once uh, the physician has already started providing care. So uh, let's take the second one first. Uh, when a physician signs a contract and then begins employment, starts providing care for the employer, there will be uh, a section in the employment agreement that states how the contract can be terminated. So, uh, you know, it's a number of ways. One, if it's a fixed term, meaning it's just a two year contract and then it ends and it's not renewed, that's the contract could end in that way. Uh, you, the uh, contract could be terminated for cause, meaning one side breached the contract uh, and then decided to terminate the contract immediately once the breach wasn't fixed. Uh, there's always going to be a without cause termination in an agreement. Just means either party can provide a certain amount of notice, usually 60 to 90 days, uh, to the other party and then the physician, if, if the physician is the one terminating the contract, then they would just have to work out those 60 to 90 days. They can move on after that. Uh, and then lastly, you could have mutual agreement where both parties just say, you know, this isn't working out. You don't need to give notice. You can just, you know, pack up, <laughs> move on to something better. Uh, so that's not a backing out of the contract. That's terminating the contract. So in my mind, when I talk to physician, uh, they have signed a contract, but haven't actually started the job yet. That's what I would consider backing out. And so that's a little trickier. So uh, there's kind of two ways this could go. One, if the employer made the physician sign an offer letter, but the employment agreement hasn't been signed yet by the physician, then there's it's easy to back out. The physician just says, I'm not interested in signing the employment agreement. And even though they sign the offer letter, it's non-binding unless there's language in there that says it is binding, which is exceedingly rare. So <clears throat> in that scenario, if you sign the offer letter, but didn't sign the employment contract, pretty easy. You just say, I'm not. So things have changed. I'm moving on. Now, uh, let's say you're, you know, PGY2 and have this great job. They offer you a job very early on in the process. You sign the agreement and then something changes. Either there's some kind of family problems, so you can't move to the city that you thought you would. Uh, maybe you, you know, get married, have children, have an illness. I mean, there's a ton of things that can change in the course of a year or two. And so in that scenario, uh, the physician, you know, has to make a decision. Now they cannot be forced to work, obviously. So it's not like if you sign an employment agreement, the employer can just say, you know, no matter what, you have to provide care for us. However, there are consequences to the physician potentially uh, if they do back out of an agreement. Now, some agreements will will have direct language that states if the physician signs the agreement but doesn't actually start with the employer, there may be some kind of penalties involved. So maybe they would have to uh, pay back the recruitment fees or any dollars spent on credentialing or privileging. Uh, maybe they paid for their license, DEA registration. Maybe they forwarded a signing bonus or like a uh, resident stipend. In those scenarios, obviously, if the physician backs out, they're likely going to have to pay those things back. Um, and then the other scenario is if the practice suffers damages, meaning they were relying upon this physician to start, they had a position ready, they invested capital, maybe build out more rooms, they could state to the physician, you know, we did all these things expecting you to start. You signed a contract that said you would start and you didn't. So uh, it's possible the employer could sue the physician and come after them for those damages. Now, 
That that's not something that generally happens. The best approach to take, in my opinion, is to, if you're a physician, things have changed, you don't like the job anymore, whatever, you just need to approach whoever the recruiter is, the owner of the practice, the medical director, you know, someone in a position of authority and just, you know, say, these are the problems. Uh, I am, you know, not in a position to take this job right now. I really appreciate the opportunity. But I'd like to end this amicably uh, and move on. And if there are one of those extenuating circumstances, I find almost all employers are going to be understanding. I mean, they'll, they'll be disappointed most likely, but they're not going to feel any kind of anger towards the physician. Now, if it's a scenario where the physician just simply got a better offer and they're leaving for pure monetary reasons, the employers may not be as forgiving in that scenario. Um, just saying to an employer, oh, I got a, I got a higher paying job, so I'm leaving, th that will open them up potentially to more liability than not. Now, I, I wouldn't suggest that anyone start a job if they're not interested <laughs> in actually being there. That's a recipe for failure. So uh, the physician first, needs to talk to whoever the recruiter is. Second, send some kind of letter that just states they're not planning to start. Um, and if they're good personal reasons, you can you, you might want to list those out in the letter, although that's not necessary. And then just say, hey, I want to you know resolve this amicably. And if you do owe them back money from the stipend or the relocation or anything, you know, signing bonus, whatever, then obviously you got to pay that back. So that's how to back out of a physician contract. Uh, just the differences between terminating the contract and backing out of the contract are, are different. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, you can call my law firm at the phone number listed below in the description, uh, or you can reach us at uh, through our website at shellylaw.com, C-H-E-L-L-E-Law.com. All right, appreciate you watching the video.